Welcome to Gord Field in Detroit Rock, Michigan. Nice town, isn't it, Bricks? Well, by nice, you mean a town that would welcome you by cold cocking in the head with a vacuum cleaner and stealing your luggage in the middle of a motel chicken and throwing you off the bridge into a polluted lake while well, enjoying your morning walk to the stadium. Then yes, Grim, very nice town. Couldn't be lovelier. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Snuffalo Thrills battle. The Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, hey, man, this team's going to stand on that Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Briggs, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven? That'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. And he pumps oh, up with the brutal hit. And it's first and ten. run for five yards second down and five worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, 
first and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. First and ten. I'm a house camel and shiver. I am a hell and I'll sell him. Second down in a very lot. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and two. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. And that'll bring up second and one. Third down and five. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty nukes on the defensive line. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. And it's first and ten. That pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing it's anyone's game still at this point i know which makes it so hard to place a bat first down and one No, you didn't. You know what? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. feeling confident as they get the kickoff there. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second down and four. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. He refuses to go to boom. Second down and seven. And he'll pick up the 
the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Seven. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Third down and a pussy hair. Oh, and he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. And that'll be their final timeout. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Touchdown! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. up offense there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench and that pass finds its target a pickup of six yards on the play and that'll be they use their second time they're running out of time 
Uh, a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. <laughs> This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. And that'll bring up third down and seven. point attempt. tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face oh big catch big run big touchdown eh, big deal mr beef a great man with a ball didn't fall down i take all you mutants out that's right what you talking about they want more points so they're going for two Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for you. You know what? 
Never mind. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. First and ten. And Matt Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> no, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Prince can't even get one. And this a good by the number throw. And those numbers add up to two. Yo, seriously, man, anything you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? First and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Third down and the punter is warming up. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole up here. Talk to the end. Well, that's a lovely...
probably shank for the punter today. He just put his teeth. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. quarter and it's first and ten oh. Oh. Oh, sure, now he catches it I had this guy on my fantasy team last week I don't have so much money on him not to mention my kneecaps my loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time Graham
which he need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Second down and four. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Two. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Finn? That line ain't. And the two minute warning sounds, they'll have to regroup during this timeout. And that'll bring up second and one. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a kick wearing a wig. And he sends him to the ground with an Exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Skid marks. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for 
for a first down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Burners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Hey, what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! He's not going down! Oh, what the brutal hit! The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Timeout. Ah, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time. Caught for the first down. The Maniacs rule today and take them up. Entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because you know, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Yeah, hey, man, you know now. You know what Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...